So yeah, I was just out here doing some uh, porcupine patrol because they're doing a lot of damage to the trees out here. Uh, but anyway, you got me thinking, coming up this one spot I'll show you. One of my favorite channels on YouTube is the Vin Wiki uh, car story channel where I tell stories of different automobile stories. And I realized like, man, I got a lot of good stories. Like, I guess if these would be the hills of Mexico running from the federales. <laughs> but anyway, this particular story is pretty good. So I started driving when I was seven years old. I Actually, the vehicle I got stuck to, it was a 1992 Ford Bronco number two. And <clears throat> it must have been pretty new when my dad got it because... Yeah, but he rolled it one time because <laughs> them things were the most unstable thing ever. But, so anyhow, I did a lot of camping back in these mountains. And it's funny because I live, like, right there now, literally a couple hundred yards. But anyway, to get in here, there's an old logging road. And I brought a pop-up camper Actually, I still have the title for it. It was a 1976 something or another pop-up got for free. And I think we just used the frame off it or something. But me and my buddy, we came out camping out here. And we I hauled it back here with my 1992 Ford Bronco number two. Of course, the four-wheel drive wasn't working for its Ford. And I was 14, didn't know how to fix it. And... It was a cold, rainy day, just like today. I think it was before winter or after. Either way, it was rainy and cold. And so I'll turn you around here. Oh, that's that cold on blue. So I romped her, backed her in the whole way. <laughs> back in this hole, back in here. And this was our camping spot. It was one hell of an awesome camping spot. But as you could guess, this place fills up with water very quickly. And I brought it out, set it up, and left. Because we are coming back the weekend to go camping. And <laughs> this whole thing was completely filled with water. Actually, I was just here the other day and it was like over there. So the camper, it was set up right around it, right around, probably right where I'm standing. And it was floating. <laughs> so we did, we left it here. I think the water went down. We did do some camping in it, which, I mean, this is an awesome spot to go camping. And we'll talk about like privacy. I mean, it's so cool. And so anyway... The rest of the story is when I eventually went to take the camper out, of course, Bronco had two wheel drive, big wide tires, big bald tires, couldn't afford new tires. And <laughs> I got stuck, got stuck good. What you doing, Blue? You never know, <laughs> might be some mutant snakes in here, buddy. Let's see how deep we can go in here. So anyway, yeah, got stuck on the road, going out there, bad, couldn't get it out said I was only 14 at the time so my skills were not they were not there what do you think blue <laughs> but anyway so I had to walk this was before cell phones and like I said I live a couple hundred yards now there with my parents literally probably six or nine miles away so it was late too which now like me being a parent like if <laughs> If my kid, 14 year old, wasn't home, I knew he was out romping in the Bronco too. I'd probably be more concerned, but I guess they really weren't, wasn't. Hmm. Emotional, damn it! Anyway, see, I got stuck right there somewhere, and I ended up walking almost the whole way home. Then stopped by one guy's house I kind of knew, and knocked on his door middle night. Totally cool guy. Open up, let me in, use his phone. Dad came, picked me up, saved me, man. My dad, I can't tell you, like, 
I wish I had cameras and stuff back in the day because the the stories and the times I got stuck. One winter, he pulled me out. Was it 23 times? Something absurd. Like, God bless my dad, man. <laughs> I mean, the amount of times, like, this one time, fuel pump went out. It was a Ford Explorer. 90, was it 94? No, that'd be newer. I think it was maybe 94, right around there. Anyhow, fuel pump went out on Fords, as they all do. And before cell phones, way back in there, I was, I was hunting, actually. I had to walk. Was it six or seven hours? Like, literally six or seven hours hiking to make it back home. And right before I made it back home, a, a cop stopped, picked me up, and gave me a ride the rest of the way. <laughs> I was like, well, I appreciate the last couple feet there but yeah anyway this is a quick automotive story of a time i was really stupid and got stuck like right probably right where blue is there and uh yeah i got a bunch more stories but this is out here doing a little walk and this kind of brought back old memories of the good times man so them are the best dude just you just go not a care in the world dude you hook up your old fucking ford bronco to an old free camper romp that bitch out in the woods and set up shop dude them are the best days man <laughs>